Good evening, friends, and welcome again to thechefandthegrape.com. I am your host, Chef Christoph, and tonight, the wines of Chile. And as always, I've got something pretty cool for you, so let's just get straight to it. The winery Finca La Celia. And if you haven't heard the name before, well, don't be surprised, because although it is, in fact, one of the oldest wineries in all of Chile, it is perhaps... Uh, in many circles, one of the least recognized for uh, uh, being so old and, and, and actually being quite prestigious. Um, <coughs> so the wine I wanted to talk about is this. It's their Supremo. Let's see if I can get the, the zoom right there. Now, very interesting. We're making these tasting notes in the spring of 2016. This is a 2006 vintage and here's what's really cool about it. Now, of course, coming from Chile and it being a big bold red wine, you and I are going to make some assumptions about what the blend is. I certainly would have. And the beginning of this blend, there's no surprises to me. Malbec, okay. Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot does uh, beautifully uh, in Chile. Syrah. Chilean Syrah, some of the best in the world, certainly some of the best value. But here's the one that really made me raise my eyebrow, Tanat. Now, Tanat is not a varietal that's grown in much of the world at all outside of Uruguay and Spain. I mean, if you take those two countries out of the equation, I think that must be 95 plus percent of all that's Tanat grown in the world. Um, I'm just throwing a number out there. I have no idea if it's right or not, but from my experience, that's, that's pretty close to the truth. There is a little bit of Tanat grown in Australia that I know of, a very small amount in the United States and uh, in Canada, actually. Um, these are fantastic producers to wit. Uh, they have been industry leaders in Chile in um, being environmentally responsible. So they are, I believe they are LEED certified. I believe they are now a zero emission, uh, which is a fantastic accomplishment for any business. Um, and they are very conscientious about the production of their wine. The Supremo, obviously supreme. This is one of, if not their highest level of wine that they are producing. A beautiful blend, like I said. Uh, all of it aged in new French barriques for a minimum of one year. So obviously we're talking about some very expensive uh, investment, right? Um, new French uh, barrels can run a thousand dollars plus and what this means is that just that barrel alone is adding ten dollars a bottle onto the cost of the wine right so very expensive to do this i think one of the ways they mitigate this is this winery is over a hundred years old right so the land is paid for the house is paid for the warehouse is paid for etc etc um and so that's how you get uh this wine which in the united states runs about 35, 40, 45 dollars perhaps uh, in Canada. If you find it, it will certainly be a little bit higher than that, uh, depending on which province you're in. Um, but beautiful wine, unfiltered, right? So if you look at it in the glass, beautiful concentration and don't be surprised. I think you, you can probably catch that. There is a little bit of sediment on the rim there because this is from the tail end of the bottle. On the nose, just a wash in um, um, aging or, or yeah, in, in more mature characteristics. Uh, so a full concentration of developed aromas, stewed blackberries, um, a cherry pie, a, an incredible array of dark floral tones, irises, roses, peonies, like just, just stunning. And there's a beautiful uh, sweetness that's coming through. Um, you know, it's been said many times before, never underestimate the North American palate for sweet. And on the nose, it just, it just, it smells like the most glorious, um, yeah, cherry and, and uh, black raspberry compote of all time. But on the palate, wow. 
big, bold, bright, brisk, full acids. Just wow. So spot on. It's, it's actually very Burgundian in that they're razor sharp acids with a beautiful delineation of minerality. Really sharp, really precise, really vibrant. For a 10 year old wine, really, really vibrant. Tannin structure, medium plus. Um, still a, a good amount of chew, but really well integrated. This is a wine lovely to drink on its own. Can you pair it with food? Obviously a host of foods, but just such a pleasure. And a full concentration of developing flavors that mimic the nose beautifully, impeccably, gorgeously. Like truly, this is, this is a, a lovely, lovely wine. Um, worthy of note, recent vintages of this have scored 90 points or above from uh, enthusiast decanter uh, just recently actually gave it a, a, a bronze medal which of course uh, for any winery is um, is something to be proud of i i think this is well in excess of 90 points i would call this 91 plus 91 plus points um and and i think it's absolutely great value just beautiful um I think one of the things I love about this is the uniqueness of its expression. I don't know that I've had a wine like this and the the blend is just, it's really cool. Would I want to carry a case of it in cellar at all times? I don't know. Um, I think if I was doing a, a little bit more barbecue, perhaps I would. In the summertime, this is going to be fantastic, right? You know, you, uh, lamb fresh off the grill is going to love something like this. It's got that brightness of acidity that's going to cut through the fat. And this is really going to cozy up to uh, smoky grill flavors, that sort of thing. Um, I, you know what? I just did uh, Texas brisket uh, just uh, a week ago. This with brisket, amazing. So all you people in Texas, you should be looking for this. Um, so yeah, I hope that you and I get to carry on this conversation on Facebook at The Chef and the Grape, on Twitter at A Student of Wine, and of course right here on the YouTube channel, Christoph, K-R-I-S-T-O-F, Gleese, G-I-L-L-E-S-E. -L -L -E -E. If you're enjoying the videos, I hope you like it and I hope you share it. Um, and of course, I hope you look for this in your local market. It's Finca La Celia. L-A-C-E-L-I-A, -E and I hope you enjoy it as much as I.